So lately, many people have been playing around with uh, ChatGPT, and I've been one of them. Now, if you've been using ChatGPT to create content or you know doing all the run-of-the-mill stuff, create code and stuff like that, you've already watched all of those videos. And this is not that video. I'm not going to go and teach you how to do how to create content and how to do all of that. That's that's not my stuff. That you can watch other videos for that. This video is specifically about how to use ChatGPT to speed up your SEO process. And I'll go from having a client who has a keyword that they want to target to creating uh, you know, just about everything you, you would need to start ranking the website. Now, before I go into this, it's worth saying that you know, I take responsibility for the accuracy of what ChatGPT puts out. It is your responsibility, it's your client, and your or your website, you need to make sure that the keywords and everything else that's associated that's been put out by ChatGPT is double checked by you or your team. So make sure that you do that. And before I go into the video, just one last thing is to like and subscribe. And so, and if you're looking for SEO, uh, just click the link below fill in the form and I will get in touch with you. How I use ChatGPT as a starting point to research and to do SEO for my clients. So what I generally start with is I start with keyword research. What I like to do is I like to start with uh, so give me a list of keywords associated with accounting. And what this will do is this, this is just spat out in literally seconds um, a list of keywords um, that have to do with accounting. And what I'll do is I'll copy and paste. Um, these keywords because this will come in handy. Next step for me is after I have these keywords, I like I like to cluster uh, these keywords. Um, I generally also further, you know, just I put them into a keyword research tool. But what? But since I'm not going to go into keyword research here, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to use ChatGPT um, for SEO. So once I have this list, I copy and paste the list. Now what I want to do is I want to know. Uh, I want to I want to cluster each one of these primary keywords, uh, secondary keywords. So I want to find clusters around the secondary keywords. So what I'm going to do here is I will copy this and I'll do here and I'll put this here and I'll say uh, so LSI is Latin uh, Semantic Indexing and what this does is will give me uh, keywords that are related to financial statements. Um, and as you can see here, it does not have balance sheet or any of this over here. It says financial statements. And so all the financial statements that are linked to this, so annual report, balance sheet, income statements, uh, statements of cash flow, and all of these here. So if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna write, like create a page um, for, let's say, uh, financial statements, I'll, I'll make sure to have H2s for every one of these keywords and I'll have content below each one of these H2s. Obviously there's more research that I do to this, do with this, but uh, as I said, this is a starting point. So once this is done, I would like to also uh, have ChatGPT create, create me an outline for an article around um, financial statements. So what I'll do is create an outline for a blog post about financial statements and so what this will do is it will give me a list of everything i need to cover and really this uh, obviously this needs to be improved and uh you'll you'll probably need to insert the keywords in here but by and far you know it's, it's a skeleton that will give you a place to work off of and you can just um so once this is done and I think this is done now. I'm looking at this and, I, and as I said, the, those keywords, these keywords, these LSIs need to make it into the uh, L, into the H2s of the article. So what I'll do is like it says balance sheets, income statements, cash flows. So a lot of this is already covered. <clears throat> balance sheets, income statements, cash flows. And the ones that are not, I will just add sections to this. And this is just a three-step process. Um, and and just from going from you know just knowing what i want from for accounting i have come down to creating an outline but there's also one last thing that i, I like to do is to get a visual overview of how uh, account how the accounting website will look so what i ask it to do is now you would probably say that the final step 
Um, the final step after I've created this is to ask ChatGPT to write content, which you can do, and it's totally fine. But I don't like to use ChatGPT to create content for my money for my money sites or even for my client sites. At least not until I'm 100% sure that the content is not watermarked. But this is the power tip, really. So create FAQs for financial statements. And I'll just go ahead and it will create. Uh, a bunch of FAQs and from what I've checked these FAQs are really good and These are and you can always add to these But I found that these are really good FAQs and all you need to do is just make some editorial changes to uh, The content and this is good to go and after this I have one last power tip because these FAQs are not going to be very useful if you're not if you if you don't uh, put them correctly into your website and so once this is done I will just go ahead and show you the one last thing that I like to do before posting this onto my website. And what I do is I'll create FAQ schema for the above FAQs. And so this is this just go ahead and goes ahead and creates the schema for the FAQs that it just generated, and I'm going to test the FAQs schema, and I'll show you that this this works. Okay, so this is almost done, and so I'll go ahead and copy this real real quick, and we'll paste it into uh, the test your structured data page over here. Go ahead, we'll run test, and there you go. I mean, this is perfectly okay it says type unspecified obviously this will you can change this it can change the otherwise the structure and the way it's laid out there are no errors there are no warnings and everything else is good to go so guys that's how you quickly use um chat gpt to go from having just one keyword to cre to creating faqs content outline keywords and everything else right down to schema. So as you can see, uh, ChatGPT uh, can be a pretty useful tool. You don't have to create content. You don't have to worry about you know, Copyscape. You don't have to worry about Google finding that you're using AI content. You can speed up your process you know, without having to do all of that. And I don't see ChatGPT taking over Google or killing Google, so people keep asking me that. But what I do see ChatGPT doing is speeding up a lot of the processes that are associated with doing SEO. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I've got loads of stuff that I've already learned doing using ChatGPT and doing SEO. Um, this is something I'll talk about in upcoming videos. So uh, once ChatGPT is more refined, there's a lot more data, I'll go to that. So until then, like the video, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys after the holidays.